tutorial number seven on our school management system in VB.net. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue working on the admission module. So let us make some changes on our form. Our first change is going to be on the customization of the date on our date control or the date time picker. So click on your date time picker. Then you come to properties and look for a property called custom. And for custom, just type DD, meaning day, then minus. You type capital M twice, meaning the month. And you type Y four times, meaning year. And after you making that, you look for a property called format. Then you change it from long to custom. As you are seeing now, this is the type of date we are going to be moving with. We shall start with the day, the month, and lastly the year. Then you click on sex. After clicking on the drop down, this is a combo box. You look for a property called items. And alongside items, you are going to see collection. Just click on it. Just type the options for sex so we can have male or the female. You click OK. So that once someone clicks on the, on the drop down, it must extend into those options. So I have already made some changes on all other drop down controls. So you come on the drop down for condition, do the same, go to collection and item alongside items, then you provide these three options private, full bursary and half bursary, then you click OK. Automatically those ones will take effect. Then you you come to another drop down which is class, go to items, collection. You, you provide these options from senior one up to senior six. If you are working on a primary module, you can include those classes for nursery section. But for me, I will be going with from senior one up to senior six. Then you come to the control for term, do the same items, collections. Then you provide these three options one, two, and three, meaning term one, term two, and term three. Do the same for term, add these, for year, add these options, year 2021, 2022, up to 2023, you can add on. So I will be stopping on that. Then let us see another control, the control for the house. I have provided some four options. The house can be lion, cheetah, elephant, or hyena. It depends on you. You can provide your own houses. Then for the country, I have just given Lito, Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania, UTC. So you can add on the list. Uh, then for the districts, I have done the same. So after doing that, you go ahead and change the names of the controls. I have already done that on my side. So let me show you. Once you click on the field for name, you look for the name property. In the field for name property, change it to txt underscore name. That is the name we shall be using to reference that field. For the date, I left it to the default date time picker one. For the parent, txt parent, address, like that. So you should go on changing these fields, the name fields. For the address, I gave it txt address. For the sex, I gave it txt sex. For condition, cmb, condition meaning combo box. For phone, I have done the same txt name. For class, it is cmb class. For term, it is CMB term. For year, the name is CMB year. For amount, the name is TXT amount, meaning it's a TXT field. Then for admitted by, I gave it TXT admitted. 
then for house I gave it txt uh, cmb house for country I gave it cmb country then for health problem I gave it txt health problem for region give it cmb the region and for district we give it cmb district so for now we have renamed our form fields and we have added the options in the drop down lists or the combo box then from there you go ahead and make this change get a text field from the combo box and drop it on, on your form then this text field rename it to txt id it is the text field which will receive the id of the record we, we, we may need to update or delete after that i changed its color property its background color to this you can give it any color then still click on it come to <coughs> come to the property called enabled yeah, as you are seeing enabled i made it to be false meaning that i do not want a user to interact with it so you cannot type anything in it after that get a new button from the toolbox and drop it on the form then change its caption to view data so what i want this button to do whenever the user clicks on the button it loads a new form and that form we shall place what we call a data grid view on the form a data grid view is a control it looks like a table and it will be holding all the data from our registration table so we shall be adding a new form for this and let us go ahead and create that form just click on your project right click and add then i'm going to add a windows form and then for the name of this form let us rename it let us give it a name admission admission let us give it admission z underscore data that is the name for the form and as you are seeing you stretch the form let me stretch it in width and height up to the maximum so stretch it and after adding this form come back to the toolbox and look for a control called data grid view this is the data grid view drag and drop a new data grid view control on the form then stretch it to fit the form so this is a control this is a control which is going to get the data from our database and display it inside our application then let me just go ahead and change its forward color let me change its forward color okay that is the grid color let me change its background color to white so that is it and now let us come back on the admission module the form for admission module just double click on this button then we call the other form we call it admission is data then you say dot show meaning that once someone once someone clicks on that button it must load 
that form so let me first run the project and see what we are having so admin 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 so click on students admission this is our form so assuming we have inserted in records and we click on save nothing should happen because we have not yet added a code to, to get our data from the form to save it inside our database but we are about to do that but i am assuming we already have records inside our database on this form we cannot see the records from the database but assuming the user wants to view the records the, the user will just click on view after clicking on view automatically this is the form we, we have added and this is the, the, the data grid view which is going to be displaying the data from our database so for now before we add the code to display data we must first create a code to get the data from the to, to save the data into our database and that is our next step so you just uh, click on this after clicking on this uh, clicking on this form just double click just double click on this control for save after double clicking on the control for save 